Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and just a quick video today on creating a vignette effect using CSS. Okay, so this right here is the before and if I scroll down we have the after right here. So as we can see we have the nice vignette effect applied to this image and we have of course just uh, you know a dark shadow around the edges which of course gives us the vignette effect. Okay, so it's very easy to achieve this. Uh, let's go inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to of course create the vignette effect. Okay, so inside VS Code we currently have this right here. I've got the image by itself with a set width of 450px. So in order for this effect to work we need to wrap this image inside a parent container. So Let's make a new div right here with a class of vignettes and we can simply move the image inside there. So now of course we have the image as a child of this parent, the vignette. Um, so now we're going to be using CSS pseudo elements in order to achieve this effect. So with that being said, uh, let's go inside this uh, the uh, CSS and we can target the vignette class. And we're going to firstly be setting a position of relative right here and this allows us to essentially position our vignettes overlay um, in the top left corner of the actual image and it's going to make a lot more sense surely but for now let's keep this as position relative. We can also have a display of inline block and this will essentially uh, ensure that the image with the vignette effect applied is going to still behave as an image would normally behave. Okay, because by default images are displayed as inline, so by having the container as the same display type, um, they should react and behave like regular images as if they didn't actually have the vignette effect applied. Okay, anyway, uh, let's target the vignette. Uh, then we can target every direct image of the vignette. So basically, we're targeting this one right here. And we can say for this display as block. Now I'll be going into why this is required uh, very shortly but basically it is to remove a gap between the overlay and the actual image. Okay anyway let's just save this and refresh and we have this right here so of course no visible change. If I inspect the element though we can see the vignette parent um, is covering the full width and height of the image and if I resize the image down a little bit um, the vignette is going to follow and it still wraps around the whole image by itself which of course is important for this to work and look uh, correct. Okay, um, Let's go back inside here now and finish up this code by targeting uh, a vignette then we can say colon colon after so this right here is going to give us a CSS pseudo element uh, basically just a virtual element created through CSS and it's going to be our vignette overlay so we can say position set this to be absolute and this works in conjunction with this right here which allows us to then say left of zero a top of zero um, a width of 100% and a height of 100%. So now the overlay is going to overlay the entire image and the full width and height. Okay, so with that being said, we can now say background and make this, for example, red. If I save this now and then refresh, we get this right here. We get nothing. Let's figure out why. Um, okay, so you need to add a content property of empty string to ensure uh, the pseudo element actually gets displayed. So let's try again and then refresh and now we have this right here. So as we can see, we have essentially the overlay um, overlaying the entire image. So now it's going to be as simple as just changing this background red to be a box shadow. So let's go back inside here and change this background to red to be box dash shadow. We're going to be saying inset to ensure we get an inner shadow as opposed to an outer shadow. And we can say 0, 0, then 100px RGBA 0, 0, 0 at 0 0.6. So uh, let's save this and refresh and now we have essentially our final product. Okay, now I want to explain what these two properties or what these two values mean. So 100px refers to the actual size of the vignette. So of course making this 50px is going to um, make it a bit smaller on the edges 
and uh, this value is basically how strong um, the uh, the uh, shadow is. Okay, so for example, if I make this one, it's going to be a much stronger shadow on the edges. So we can see we get a darker shadow right there. Um, you can of course change this to be between zero and one. It's up to your own liking. Now. I do want to show you real quick also what I meant by this display block. So if I remove this display of block and then save this and refresh, now we get essentially a gap between the image and the overlay. So of course, by having this display block, it is going to remove that gap. And that is how to create a vignette effect using CSS. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.